in here very much, so I really don't know how. how to, but um, you know, given given what I've heard, you know, I probably would vote for this. But as, as time goes along, how would how would this motion be modified? Be what? Modified. How would how would what would the process be by which changes could be made to this? How, how would that anybody, happen in this Anybody way? could bring up a proposal to modify, anybody at any time can make a proposal to modify a proposal and if it passes by 90% consensus, it modifies that proposal. Yeah, so, so if we find that, 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 you know, what we've elected to do is, is not really working it's as easy. well as we it think is, it ought to work. It's easy to change it as it is to start a new proposal with the same, the same <clears> thing. Good. Whitney, do you have something? Um, in our small group just now, we were talking about actually what, what Greg brought up about the security. Um, I think a few of us feel the same way that he does that a security that specific people designated for that enforcing. Um, we just feel we feel better about having the group as collectively, whether it's a mic check or whether it's just everyone standing up and collectively you know, just in numbers showing that we want this person out, that that would be better. And I, and I personally feel that having, um, I'm not comfortable with the idea of having two people or someone outside the doors um, in a preemptive motion to keep someone out. I feel like that enforces a culture of fear that is counter to what we wanna, we wanna do here. Um, and, is also putting up a barrier and a wall to anyone else who might want to join us who's new. I feel like that would that would be off-putting to them. Mm -hmm. cool. And so I say, I, I, I think I, in principle, agree that the group should police the group, that we shouldn't have some specialist who's like some security guard or something, but it's going to take group education. Just as security guards are trained, we all got to train each other, and that's going to take some work. and Jason was saying the same, that it would be good and better for it to be a group effort of confronting situations because, you know, the security thing or what individual would be designated to get, you know, swung on or yelled at or whatever, and um, that we need to educate ourselves to how we would do that. And I think that would be a good thing. Any other thoughts on this one? I want to just note that this just like, for some reason, as we're discussing, people's discussion points are really concise. Just noticing that. It's really cool. <laughs> I think you just jinxed me. <laughs> <laughs> um, I uh, take a little resentment to the fact that it's been encouraged that we should make a decision tonight um, on this. Um, in a similar way that I take resentment to hearing about a collective block when I heard about it originally a few days before the, it happened. Um, because, like, it wasn't something new. It, to my mind, as a collective, when you see someone break in process, you can do this, and then we can handle it at any time. And, and that's, that's the thing that I've been wondering about is, like, <clears throat> instead of people trying to do this, 
or bringing a proposal first, they just ran right to the block. So like, yeah, the GA asked for it. Simultaneously, I also have a concern that, um, so like, I, in a way, I, in a way, I don't think the proposal's necessary because like, I think other things like, the process, can we just like, this person is out of process. I mean, I, there, I, I guess an enforcement is necessary or whatever, potentially. Um, I, I don't have all my thoughts clear right now, so I'll yield the floor. I would like to, uh, uh, which I think I understand what you're saying, and I um, also want to remind us that even though we make decisions and or, or accept proposals and, and, and everything, we're fluid and it can be amended. So if this proposal passed tonight and put in place of how we would address it, as we read over it the next two to three days and, and say, hey, what about this and that? We can say this and that, and we address that. We eliminate that, or we add to that. That's simple. But we need it. Silver and Sarah. I just uh, have a point of information. I want to encourage everybody to use this stuff. During the whole meeting, it's very helpful to facilitation. It's helpful to all of us to know how everyone's feeling. So use the fingers a lot. It's a great nonverbal form of communication and it lets you know how people are feeling. Thank you. Thanks. Um, two things. I'd just like to kind of encourage the group to try and think like big picture on this. And even though we've had an incident recently or serious incidences and one person that's kind of been in our heads the whole time, that as we move forward, we should be thinking other scenarios. Um, one th another thing, in addition to maybe being able to do a mic check or something collectively as a group that I think might be helpful to put into something like this is just some way of talking about, the, about mediation and about, um, you know, if we're trying to go for cooperation, we're trying to go for consensus, we're trying to be healthy as a group, um, we should maybe be trying to set up this like us versus them scenario and that mediation is a really good way of pulling someone back who maybe, you know, maybe, Um, I like that idea. It's pretty good. It changed my idea a little bit just now. Um, I was thinking like the like if someone's being more violent, um, do something or like ranting really loud and mean and won't shut up. Um, a thing like where everyone realizes this, people just stand up and just don't speak and let them finish. Uh, and and then they find it. They either like oh fine yeah whatever or you know get it when they sit down. <coughs> Um, or they like, you know, make a big ruckus and then storm off. That's a lot easier than spending all day, you know, antagonizing somebody and then ousting them. Because um, I, I feel like we're gonna we're gonna feel repercussions from Dorsey. He's gonna go to media sources and talk shit. That's just what he does. Um, yeah. So uh, I, I think depending on like how everybody temp checks or, or feels, um, there could be like something we all understand, like, oh, look at that person, we all get that that person's messing up, like, I'll, you know, do a signal to ourselves, like, let's do the thing, like, oh, we gotta do the thing now, let's all stand up, you know, but something like that, as opposed to one person confronting, or like a team of people confronting the, the disruptor, because um, I feel like even like a mediator, um, one mediator going over to uh, a disruptive person could put that mediator in danger. Um, if we all do something nonviolently, because we've all dealt with the cops, you know what I mean? Um, and those, those people are very violent. And what do we want to do, bring cop culture into ours? I think that, you know, we can collectively think and uh, find solutions. A lot of the current discussion is uh, how how the, a situation like this can be handled within the GA, um, and you know, there's kind of we're we're coming to a kind of a collective shunning, which which can be very effective and I, I think could work as long as we understand what we're doing. But my concern now is that 
some of this behavior that we've seen, and we will see again from, from others, is uh, behavior outside the GA. And we need to, I think that, that the motion addresses it. It doesn't specifically say, talk about actions within, within the GA. So I, I am concerned about that. We have to keep that in mind, that there'll be efforts by people to co-opt our statements to the press, co-opt our, our statements to the police, to, to city council, and so on. We need to understand how we're going to address those situations which are outside the uh, GA. I can I respond to that? I, I understand that. Um, I think <clears throat> we should leave this proposal intact. I mean, far as we know that's for, for conduct in our general assembly and our GAs. To worry about outside sources and what they do and how they do it is diverting energies if we remain true to what we do, it will speak for itself. We know we have uh, press uh, connections and other people connections, and boom, we'll print what we need if we need to retract or address something. We don't have to take on small, petty little fights everywhere and every bad statements. That's unnecessary. Is there a time to look for this? Time for this? There wasn't, yeah, so maybe we should round it out here. How many, people, how many more people would like to speak right now? Anyone who hasn't spoken that wants to speak? I don't know if this was addressed because I wasn't here at the beginning of the discussion. Can I ask a question quick as to whether or not this was addressed? Um, I just, I think that the, uh, the whole security detail thing is what scares me because I feel like that if the group needs if the group is being put at risk, then it's up to the group to fix. Like, it's not, I don't think it's a question of like, making somebody in charge of fixing it. It's no, like, first it goes. okay, 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 well then, then yeah, I agree with that. Jeremy? Um, you know, my, my opinion is I oppose the entire spirit of this. Um, I oppose, I, I, I'm not in favor of even having a formal way of dealing with this, especially one that's so process-laden and jargon-laden. Mm -hmm. um, it flies in the face of what I come here for. Um, I certainly don't want a security detail. Um, I don't want to rely on designated parties for my security. I want to rely on the person next to me for my security. Mm -hmm. And I want them to feel the same way about me. I think that we're making this, I know this is kind of late to bring this up, but we're making this way too complicated in general. And what we should be focusing on is having undisrupted GAs, and we have a party to deal with that, and they're the facilitation team. And I think that they should have full authority. It's not even having full authority, it's if they can't, if they cannot conduct a meeting, then either they step down or the GA gets rid of the disruptive element. It's that simple. If, I don't see, I see us churning our wheels over something that society with all of their police and military haven't gotten right. When we've never actually had a violent act in our GA. So what we're responding to is overblown. I think this is a distraction and we should get back to real business and we should be kind to ourselves, understand this is a difficult thing that nobody solved perfectly yet, and just live with the uncertainty. <laughs> That's it. Question of the process. Um, I have an amendment which I'd like to see as a friendly amendment. Um, is this time for that? Uh, shortly, not, not at this point. Mm -hmm. I, 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 you can just, out of discussion, say. Oh, that's a good point. You can just end there. We're in open discussion. Yeah, yeah. And I think we should just take the uh, security and uh, de-escalation language out of this and work that out some other way, some other time. I, I think it it will hold up. The whole thing will hold up without them. It can work. Yeah. Education. The thing I wanted to basically add to what Jeremy said was 
in addition to, to, to being on the facilitation team, it's on all of us exactly. to use the signals. Someone's breaking process and it's disrupting everyone, it's wasting everyone's time, whatever, we need to address it. It's on everyone to bring these to the attention and what I've been doing lately is when I see someone else do this, I am the second person to do this and to support them. Well, um, after hearing so many comments, um, I am whew, taking a jump. Um, the proposal really was because certain people at last Sunday's GA said they wouldn't vote for um, what we had proposed unless this proposal was here on Thursday. So that was the real reason that this is here. And I see a whole, um, a lot of good ideas and how to handle it. And um, I understand all of that. So I'm happy uh, to withdraw this proposal. Um, and come back with something better that incorporates people's concerns and doesn't say security and doesn't whatever. Um, I love you all. Likewise. <laughs> um, I guess that's withdrawn. Cool. There we go. Um, <laughs> so th there's one. There's one other thing that. I don't know if it's a can of worm we want to open. <laughs>